guys, today I'm going to be drawing more of your OCs. This one here is a commission that was done for David Stam, and this is absolutely adorable. I was just so obsessed with this when I was working on it. Um, it was supposed to be like a birthday slash Christmas present for him, and it was done by his wife and daughter, and I, I just thought it was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for commissioning me, and I really appreciate all the support. And this was supposed to be done of characters that were supposed to represent Lara, which is his wife, and David only it was like doodles he would do every once in a while and make up stories for and I think that is so adorable because my father always did that <laughs> he always used to do make little doodles and so it kind of reminded me of that and I thought that was really funny and just like sweet to try and I don't know give like a personality to them I guess and that's that's really cool but anyways this is supposed to be like a more personified version of it that they wanted to actually have drawn out but it was pretty difficult but it was really really fun to try drawing because trying to draw something that you had no idea what it's supposed to look like and try and draw it into like an anime character is pretty tough because I wasn't entirely sure what the characters was look like and I messed up multiple times but it was really really fun to work on and I really enjoyed seeing these characters. I rarely work on children. That's the biggest thing. I never work on children and that was what made this so much fun and it made me realize I would love to do more children drawings. So that was great. But yeah, thank you so much for commissioning me. It really means a lot. It, it supports me so much. When I was trying to draw these characters, as you see on the right there, those are the those are the original doodles. They sent me a multiple doodles. The one in the back you can see there, and the one in the front, which is like they're holding pancakes. It's so cute. <laughs> but the one in the back there was pretty bright, so you couldn't see it very well. So I decided to like focus on the one with the pancakes because I thought that was so adorable, and I really wanted to focus on that. One of the things was um, the posing was one of the hard things I was having trouble with. I always struggle with um, proportions and stuff like that, as you guys know. But with this one, I was like, wasn't entirely sure about posing, and it took me a while with it. So I'm I'm happy with how it turned out, and I'm glad that he liked it because she did tell me that he liked it. I had to save this until after his birthday, or around Christmas time, stuff like that. So. I'm really glad that he did enjoy it, and I hope he likes the video as well, even though <laughs> I'm awkward turtle, but you know what I mean. I just absolutely love this, and I really, really had so much fun drawing it. I can't get over how much fun we had with this one, because it was such a unique commission. I've never done one like this before, and sure, it, it was scary at first, because I was like, oh no, I'm going to mess up entirely, and it's going to be someone's birthday present? I don't want to mess that up, but then I realized, like... I guess they wanted me to draw it, so maybe I should not worry so much. So that's how it ended up. I, oh my goodness, I just think their drawings are so cute. Every time I see them, it just warms my heart to see those cute little doodles. It's honestly so adorable. You guys have to let me know what you think about them, because they're just the most cute little OCs I've ever seen. Next up is Shokumi on YouTube. They actually are the first person to save up sparkles on my Amino and win this drawing completely free without paying anything or getting randomly chosen. They actually guaranteed themselves this drawing by winning the sparkles on my Amino by doing events. All you have to do is do an event, like participate, and you get sparkles. So they just saved them up and now they have the drawing. So that's a pretty interesting way to get a drawing for free and guarantee yourself one. So maybe you guys would want to like um, do that if you think that's a good way of doing it. I don't know. You have to give me like ideas of what to do because I'm so lost. <laughs> um, let me see. They have a bio. Oh my goodness, it's kind of long. I should hurry. Um, her name is Natsuki Tenshi. I hope I pronounced that properly. Which means Moon Angel. She has the power to rewind and stop time. How power works al Allo? I think that's a typo. Like Homoru from Madoka Magica, amazing anime, totally recommend. <laughs> it's, the time, it's the time that she is able to rewind and stop time is dependent on the moon style, such as a new moon, she can only handle around five minutes, while a full moon, she can handle it for around an hour, but her power is most powerful during a blue moon. Second, full moon of the month. As she can freely use her power with no limitation. This is why the crescent moon on her wand is blue. During a black moon, two new moons in a month, she is unable to use her power for this month. This reminds me a little bit of Inuyasha because I remember in like that anime, he couldn't like, he like lost his like demon form and was only human at a certain time of the month. And I don't remember when what time that was, but... I thought that was interesting. Um, it says here also she can fly around using her wand like Sakura from Card Captor Sakura. Okay, that brings back to childhood memories because that was one of the first animes I ever watched, and oh my goodness, it was 
it was dorky. It was dorky to say the least, but I still have fond memories of it just because it was one of the first things I watched with my brother. And <laughs> it was funny. But anyway, I had so much fun drawing this character and it was very um, like different and very challenging. I realized those seas of time were very challenging for me because they're things I've never tried before. Like this one was like super long, like ponytails, only they're like pigtails because there's two of them. I don't know what they're called. I guess they're called ponytails. I don't know. But it was very difficult to figure out how to get the hair that long. And she said she wanted it to look like she was floating in a sense. So it was very challenging for me, but I tried my best. I do hope you like it because I was just, oh my goodness, she's so cute, and I wanted to do her justice, but it's always so hard for me, and I never can figure out what it is that I want to do for a character, so it always ends up like I'm not happy with it, but I hope you are. That's what really matters. Next up is Karazi Art. This one we actually won a contest on Bye Me and which is another way of winning an OC. If you win a contest, you can instantly get one guaranteed. So be sure to go check out those contests. You can actually join the fan club for having a contest every single week. They have a bio here, so I'm going to get to reading it. Um, his name is Elijah, but he usually goes by Ellie. He's 20, but because he is only 5'2 and very childish, he often is mistaken as a kid, though he's very outgoing. Ellie is a compulsive liar and a borderline kleptomaniac. Wow. <laughs> With an unstoppable desire to cause mischief. Now that's not good, like, combination. <laughs> Entertain himself and get attention. Ellie struggles to trust people or make friends because he's generally rude and lying to whoever he speaks to as an unhealthy defense mechanism. He did very well academically in school, even skipping two grades, but because of his strong personality and young age, he didn't get along with most people. I had to skip the page there. <laughs> Despite regularly stealing and lying, he despises alcohol and hard drugs and has a bad habit of targeting drunk people when pickpocketing. Ellie, I'm sure, is Ellie how it's supposed to be, or is it like Eli? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly. I don't know. Loves pranks and playing games, especially when he's winning and <laughs> is a sucker for anything sugar. I think it means sugary. And the color pink. His soft spot lies with sweets and animals. Oh, that's cute. And he often steals cat food and feeds stray cats around the city he lives in. He now lives in a small apartment with his quiet and gullible best friend and boyfriend, Liam and a stray cat they took in and named Pokey. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's adorable. But yeah, this character is so cute. And when I saw I was going to draw them, I was absolutely ecstatic and I was so excited to draw this character because their hair is just so fluffy and pink. And I thought it was so adorable. And their shirt's also pink, but you can't see because it's like hidden behind the drawing in the front there. I I'll put on the right, <laughs> but it is just so cute. I don't know. I, I love the idea of guys that who aren't, aren't scared to wear pink. I mean, I think that's so adorable and it just adds a lot to a character. And I'm just, I'm in love with this character after reading the bio, especially I read it ahead of time and I just thought it was so cute and absolutely amazing. It's so unique. Like normally when there's characters that are thugs and whatnot, they're just so one-sided and this character feels like there's so much to them. And there's nothing like you just don't understand and also they probably came up in for a bad place and you just can't understand them and it's it's very interesting and I, I'm like if there was a book I would read it because I want to know what happens to him or what happens with all of that and I hope it doesn't end badly because I'm scared that every book that I like a character in is just going to kill the character in five seconds and that is what I'm always scared about and I'm sure people can relate to that. <laughs> I feel like that happens if you're watching an anime, you're reading a book, your character you like the most is going to die. That's just how it feels. I'm always scared that's going to happen. Anyway, that's everything. If you want to know Seedron, please link it in the comments below. It also, please do let me know if you want to join the Amino or if you anything like that or if you're confused about it. I try to answer as many comments I can up there, but my goodness, it is so much fun to see everyone's art and just you can post any art you want up there. It doesn't have to be fan art or anything like that. Just any art at all. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you guys join. And also, thank you so much for the commission again. And anyone who wants to commission me to skip the whole process, please do check out my commission prices. Link are in the description. Thank you so much for watching.